what? What are we doing about it? What is our community leaders doing about this? How many lives? How many lives? <laughs> how many lives have to be taken? How many lives have to be destroyed? How many kids in our community have to turn to drugs and alcohol? How many have to have dysfunctional marriages because they never got the help that they need? They have no place to turn to. And what? What is our leaders in our communities doing about it? What is the Chabad leaders doing about it? What is the Satmer leaders doing about it? What is the Litvisha leaders doing about it? What is the Yeshiva world leaders doing about this? They make speeches. Oh, we're facing this. We're dealing with it. We have professionals. I'm speaking to the victim of the case in Monticello where this rabbi, this rabbi abused a kid and the whole community went against this kid and their family. They found out it's not true. Leaders in the Los Angeles community, no, this case is not true. Oh, it's a, the family is full of lies. No, I'm speaking to the 17-year-old boy, this boy Avram. And he's telling the truth. I'm a victim. He's a victim. And I can tell when someone's lying to me. And maybe he wants to end his life too. And whose fault will that be? The blood is not just on the abusers of any child. Any child. Any teenager. Any person that takes their life. And so many I know have took their life and it just hasn't been reported that they were abused in our communities. The leaders are at fault because you have done nothing, absolutely nothing for years and years and years. Being religious is being a good person. Loving and caring for your fellow Jew, for your fellow person. Standing up for what's right. Standing up for our children. Not a day goes by. I was just talking to our director in our office in Israel. She's like, Mayor, not an hour goes by without not another call with a victim. Not a day goes by without a new case. Every single day, JCW is getting a new case of victims coming forward. We can't even handle our caseload. We have hundreds of abusers we need to go after. And we will. There are victims that are upset at me, that are upset at JCW, because we didn't get their abusers yet. And I promise you, don't be upset. Don't be angry. There will be justice for you. And hold on. Hold on. If you want to do something to yourself, reach out. Reach out. Don't let it eat it up inside you. As soon as these thoughts start coming to you, call up the suicide prevention hotline. Call up JCW. Call up Safe Horizon. Call up an organization that will help you. Be connected with other survivors, their support groups. Please. I know. I know what the pain is. And I'm here to stand with you to empower you, to love you. JCW is here to empower you and love you. We will do everything, everything to protect you. And if you attack victims, we will come after you. Because according to statistics, one in three to one in four girls, one in five to one in six boys will be sexually abused before they turn 18. Where does everybody in our community go to? They go to our community leaders. So yes, Rabbanim, you might call me an anti-Semite. I'm trying to destroy the Jewish community. But no, I'm not. I am trying to fix the mistakes that you made. Enough talking. Action. We need action now. I'm sorry for my rant. I am angry. I am upset. I am hurt, and all I wish for, all I wish for, is for our, these real Rabbanim, these real leaders, 
the Vada Rabbanim in different communities to take a real stance and stop singing the same old tune they sang for 20 years. Yeah, we handle this problem and JCW is not the right way to do it. No, we are. Because I know when I confront the abusers and we've confronted close to 100 abusers, they are pissing in their goddamn pants out of fear of what may happen to them. And pedophiles and child molesters are afraid to abuse because we will expose them. And this is the right way to go. You will be held accountable for your actions if you molest a child, if you steal a child's innocence. I'm going to leave off with this. The times before Mashiach. And it says, before Mashiach comes, the youth will go against the old. It says, that the dirty stuff is going to come out. Sexual deviance. The nation before Mashiach comes is going to be a nation of pigs. And that's what we are. We're a nation of pigs. You have Mendel Tevel walking around Crown Heights. As if everything's okay. And this guy was convicted of giving oral sex. Driving a, bo a boy of oral sex in him and almost a dozen other victims. And this guy's walking around in 770 and he's getting honors. And people are shaking his hand and talking to him. Shame on the Chabad community. Shame on everybody in Crown Heights that allows Yossi Reitzis, Yitzi Hecht, and all these child molesters to walk around scot-free. Shame on the Satmir community. Shame on you. You're not real Hasidim. You are not. To go against the Weberman victim after this guy did horrific things. Do you know what it means to be a victim? Think about your worst, darkest, deepest secret. Your trauma that happened in your life. Everybody goes through something. Now imagine that and take it a hundred times. Times it by a hundred. That's not even close what it means to be a victim. Enough pain. Enough suffering. Enough shame. Enough guilt. We are done. We will not tolerate this. We will not allow this any longer.